When you actually turn the Himalayan on, the most annoying part of it is that wine you get from the side stand switch. So imagine if you're going to go out here and do a video and you have to pull the bike up 20 or 30 times, different locations to do the video. That's going to be on your nerves all the time and uh, you either got to turn the bike off so you don't have to listen to it or you're going to have to come down here and get into it and trace where it starts off here, works its way back up through the motor and you come back up into the wire and harness and you work into it and this is the piece here you've got to disconnect so that's what I'm going to go for so we all know your size stand relay is sitting here where the pin sort of belts out and kicks things into gear ends in either one of those so the idea we've got a tracer to get to this point I've had to undo a few tie clips like either one of these were wrapped in that rubber shroud or plastic shroud tie clipped in naturally for waterproofing but that's something I've got to do and if I'm going to make these videos I just can't get out there and listen to that side stand switch going off every time you're a new rider or somebody that relies on the side stand switch like I don't recommend this mod to uh, get out there for you to uh, jump onto it and start removing this switch because it's a safety feature and safety features are there for one reason, for safety only. But uh, so again I stress, don't get out there and go ahead and do this mod for that reason because it's there for that reason alone for a safety. But in my case, uh, I'm not going to get there and butcher it and cut it to pieces or anything like that, I just want to remove it get out there so I can do these videos and uh, when I'm finished with it at least I'll be able to clip it back together everything should be working fine and I can get on with it but if you're out there shooting videos and you've got two or three cameras on a bike which I'm planning on doing now and uh, you want to get out there and you want to stop the bike oh, it's just so annoying having that uh, side stand switch go off and I really don't want to be out there with the bike and turning it off every couple of minutes and then uh, having to walk down along the road or adjust the camera angle, swing it back around the other way and and then uh, come back, start the bike and you know, you got your starter motor going on and off all the time. And I'd rather have the bike just idle in there while I do the shots and go from there. But So we'll see how it goes after I disconnect this. So as I yeah, said, this is a piece I'm after. Just disconnect that piece. We know it's going off at the moment, so I'll press that... Uh, little tab in, pull that out of the way and see how it goes. Okay, that was a pretty easy job now, so I've split those. Now we're just back in under there. We'll hit the ignition, see how it goes. Do I got All good. Now all I've got to do is come down here, tidy this up a bit now. And that should be good. Now, like I said, this is only going to be a temporary job, so if I really want to do this properly, I suppose I've got to cut the wires, totally remove the switch from down here, but it's not going to be a permanent type thing, so this is only to, while I do all these videos and carry on, I've got to probably, I'll probably make about 30 odd videos on this bike, so this is going to save me that high pitched whistling and carrying on from this. So what I'll do with this one now is I've got some of the um, really good waterproof uh, Gorilla type tape I've got from Bunnings so I might get in there, tape both ends of it to make sure it's waterproof so no water gets in it in case I do strike a bit of water around here but hasn't really rained in any of the areas I'm riding for quite some time so I don't expect it so I might get in there give that a bit of a workout and just waterproof that and then tape that part back in so I'll hit that now okay well I've got all that under control now all I've got to do is run these tie clips back around them secure them in and this part of the job's done now just cut off the excess and I think this job's complete anyway that's nice and secure in there nice and neat 
Okay guys, it's 24 hours or one day later and here we are back at the bike. So we'll just do a quick recap on this. So uh, Tim and I uh, had no idea which one it was. I actually undid both these plastic shrouds here and it turned out naturally the one that had the red socket covering or plastic clip over it on this right hand side that was the one that you know, I had to undo to uh, disconnect the main wiring to the switch that was fairly easy to undo that one by just following the lead from there back up in through the motor up into it so that was fairly easy so uh, you should be able to uh, just undo your larger one of the two over here and pick her up quite easy so meanwhile I haven't started this bike now for 24 hours so I'll just in my case I've got no choice I've got to engage with the choke each time seeing it's a carby bike we'll just see how it starts regardless uh, maybe I better get the key okay now have the key it's always good 24 hours later to see if it works any good or not got the key turned her on now I've actually done now on this bike what is it 121 kilometers so we'll kick her over and see how she starts oh well, how's that first go no whistling so everything works well okay guys that's it uh, like I said this bike hadn't been started for 24 hours and it's still kicking over well still running well after 121 kilometers so that's all right that was after yesterday's belt along the dirt road so uh, i'll catch up with you on the next video and once again thanks for tuning in taking a look and all take care and i'll catch you later